Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I'm here to talk to you about something that I hold very close and dear to my heart, and that is Pelotonia. Now, Pelotonia is a bicycle ride. It takes place every year, the first weekend in August here in Columbus. Um, this is my 11th year riding, and I believe Pelotonia is on its 13th year. I did not ride the first two years. But I have ridden every year since 2009, except for 2020, because sadly, the ride was canceled due to COVID. So a little backstory for me and how I became part of this. Um, 2009 was my first year riding. My brother worked for Huntington, where I work, bank, in Columbus, and he asked me if I wanted to ride with them. I was like, yeah, let's, it'll be fun. So we got bikes. We trained, we rode 25 miles with Sarah, his daughter, and we were hooked at that point. Um, the next year, we both bought new bikes, better bikes, and have I have ridden ever since. Like I said, I'm on year 11. Now, in 2011, we lost our dad to cancer, and in 2017, our mom uh, also to cancer. Both were treated at the James, so I do have firsthand experience with the hospital and where the money goes and how they treat people and it's just wonderful. Um, Pelotonia itself was a grassroots organization created to raise money for the James. So as a rider, 100% of the money that I raise goes to the James. None of the money goes to support the foundation. Um, that is funded by local corporate sponsorships, uh, my bank being one. So that's convenient, right? Now, um, what we do is we sign up. I signed up for 50 miles. Every year I've ridden 50 miles except for two. The first year I rode 25 and the year I had shoulder surgery, I rode 25. Other than that, I've done 50 miles. I'm not gonna say it's easy, but it's very rewarding. In order for me to ride 50 miles, I need to raise $1,550. That's my commitment minimum. I would like to raise more, of course, but minimally, I either raise that money or I have to pay that money out of pocket. And, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, I think the last year we rode in 2019, there was close to 9,000 riders out there, and we raised over $23 million, just the riders alone. So, I mean, it's pretty rewarding. It's an amazing weekend. I hope to bring you along this year and record some while I'm riding. It's a little difficult, but we go through little towns in my area and there's folks on the side of the road. One of the high schools has a band out there playing. I mean, it's just an amazing, amazing opportunity that, you know, I have and I am super passionate about. So you're going to hear me talk about my bike, about training. I'll put up some training videos and fundraisers. And this is my first fundraising video. And I am asking you, my community, my friends, anybody who sees this video, if you have as little as $5 to spare, if you could click the link down below in the box and donate to my ride, I would be ever so appreciative. There's no donation that's too small. There's no donation that's too big. Every dime that goes into my name goes right on to Pelotonia. Um, I used to bake cupcakes. I was the cupcake lady at work. And every Friday for Pelotonia season, so from like January, February until August, I would bake eight dozen homemade cupcakes on Thursday night and I would bring them in on Friday and raise $100 every Friday. It was fantastic. But because I'm at home now, I don't have that opportunity to be at work and do the fundraising. So it's a little more challenging this year, but I feel like I'm up to it. And I hope that some of you will be able to help me out. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post it down below. Watch out for any future and upcoming videos that I'm gonna have. I will I want to show you some pictures of my mom and my dad and my bike and talk you through some of my training rides. I'm getting ready. I just got my bike back from the shop on Saturday. She, uh, her name is Speedy. <laughs> She's a Trek Lexa road bike and I purchased her I think in 2010 I believe is when I bought her and I needed Ooh. some updates. She needed some new pedals, some gears, some grip tape. I got um, 
everything kind of tuned up and washed and greased up and ready for the season. I got a new front bag for her. So I will show you my bike and then someday or coming up, I'll do a video on all my gear that I have. So the shorts I wear, the shoes I wear, the why we wear certain tops, things like that. So I hope you find it at least interesting. And if you can donate, I would appreciate it. And if you can't send a prayer my way that training goes well and we have a good summer uh, because that's going to be the difference between a really, really hard 50 miles and a really easy 50 miles is how many training miles I can do between now and August. All right, guys. Well, thank you for listening and bearing with me. And I hope I can count on you to help me. All right, everybody have a good one and I will talk with you later.